Purchase your copy of TurboCAD from CADCourse.net. Well, one of the uh, new fairly basic tools that's nice for efficiency's sake is the uh, Smart Dimension tool. Uh, so you can see I have this cube here in the center of the screen. I've picked the Smart Dimension tool. Uh, if I click on the object, I can pull off the dimensions very quickly. I know. I particularly like this because you don't have to go and define a work plane prior to actually placing the dimension. Right. And so specifically for 3D dimensions, that's a huge benefit so that you can just simply click the edge that you're interested in and, right. and draw it without having to first go and say, you know, work plane by facet, etc., etc. Right. But you say now it works not only on 3D objects but 2D objects and... Um, Parks and lines and give yeah. So um, I mean, even if I, I came in here, it automatically understands. It's going to put a diameter in for a full circle. It's going to put a radius in for an arc. Those are standard dimension. That's, that's dimensioning standards. If you have an arc or fillet, you use a radius. If you have a full circle, you put in the diameter. That's standard drafting procedure. So it understands that, slams it in there for you, no problem. Understands the rectangle, boom, boom. You can even do uh, offsets if you want. Um, if you have, sorry, you have to have an open line segment. Okay, you should be able to. It was that was my bad. There you go. <laughs> you have to hold it down the shift key. So you click the line first, and then you hold the shift key down, or you hold the shift key down first. You, you hold the shift key. You select the tool, you hold down the shift key, and you select the okay, line. Okay, excellent. Um, and so that's that's very nice uh, for for laying very fast dimensions. And All right, yeah, that certainly is a, is a massive speed improvement. People trying to put dimensions on, that's great. Uh, so does it work on a wall tool at all or not? Uh, actually, the wall tool has its own dimensioning system. Um, so if I if I lay in, I'm gonna. In this case, I'm, my base is inches right now, so I'm just gonna give a height of eight inches, so it's kind of proportional. And uh, why didn't that lay in? Because I didn't hit OK. And I'm lock key was not on. And we draw in the wall, right? Finish, and then you keep come down here. You've got a wall dimension tool. So I can lay on the dimension for the wall to either side. Oh, I see. And if you look, it's also going to, there, there, there's a number of properties you can give for wall dimensions that'll allow you to specify whether or not you'll show the gap or the transition in the wall or not. Get this movie and many others in higher resolution from cadcourse.net.